You know what that means when you hear the whistling like that. It's time to start. Erica hates the whistling, and it's time to start the Armstrong's Garden Center segment here. Enjoy delicious, fresh from the garden salsa this morning. In today's garden inspiration, we are teaching you how to create your own salsa garden right here. Brianna Vargas from the Armstrong Garden Centers is joining us this morning to talk about all of this. I'm excited about this because, as I said a minute ago, I was talking to you, I finally got my garden going. Yeah. I planted some things the other day, and it's thriving. Now I want to spice it up a little bit. First of all, how do we get started? So you can grow all this throughout the summer, so you basically just want to pick whether you want to start things in pots or the ground. Oh, okay. So if you're going to start thing in, um, plant in pots, you just want to get your pots and potting soil. If you want to start in the ground, just get your plants and some compost. Well, let's talk about the potting, because if I go out and buy a pot, say it's a big old pot, like this big around, am I going to plant something like this in that big pot? Is that, or do we have to go for the big plant, something like this, that's going to be bigger? Will this grow into that big pot? It will eventually. It's going to look silly, though, in a it big will. pot like that, right? Right, so okay, so if we get the little pot, start off with a little pot and something like this, and then work your way up to the bigger ones, right? Yeah. As these things grow. I love it. Um, okay, so we're doing the, let's talk about the potted stuff first. We can pot all of this? Is yeah, you can put all the peppers and tomatoes into a pot. Okay, okay. And then just, you know, you'll get fruit that way too. Mm -hmm. So um, what I brought today is I brought a couple different types of tomatoes and just tons of different types of peppers, whether you want to have like a spicy salsa, medium or sweet. If you want to get a hot in the garden, you want to start off with this right here. This is what we were talking about. This is the hot one right here. What is this? This is a habanero, so it's pretty spicy. I actually brought um, some actual habaneros right here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, right yeah. there. Yeah. You want to taste one of those? No. Because it's usually me. You don't want to taste it? I like things mild. I'm not really a spicy okay. person. Usually usually they say, hey, the, maybe they one of the, uh, the anchors want to try this out. But uh, I'm going to put you to the test now. No, you, no, you can go ahead. <laughs> Okay, all right. Oh, that is, yep, yep, <laughs> you're right, that's spicy. Go ahead, let's move off to the next one. This is uh, a mild one, right? Um, yeah, so that the, tastes great, by the, the way. Jalapen it's the jalapeno is a, a pretty mild one. Uh -huh. So that's this one right here. Mm -hmm. And if you want the same kind of taste, but you don't want it to be as spicy, you can also remove the seeds, which will kind of take the spice oh, away a little bit. Oh, you can get rid of the seeds? Mm -hmm. How cool is that? Then we're gonna move off to the sweet one right here. This yeah. is a sweet kind of mild taste. It's like a taste. bell pepper. Okay. Yeah, so you can, you know, make your pico de gallo with that, just kind of more of like a topping. If you want to make like a salsa or a spice, um, or a sauce, you can actually use like the habanero, the jalapeno. Mm -hmm. um, any of those would be really good. And then you just want to add some onion and cilantro and you're good to go. Well, all of this grow in the summertime if yeah. I want to plant it right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds good to me. All right, so it, will this stuff go in the ground too? We can plant all of this? Yeah, you can put it in the ground. You'll just want to use your planting compost. And then we also have our organic tomato and vegetable food. Okay. And then just for the tomatoes and peppers, you want to make sure that you get a cage, um, which are the red things right over here. That'll just kind of help to support it when it gets fruit. How am I going to take care of all of this? Is there instructions on there? when I need to water the things, when I can pick it, when do I know it's ripe? Help me out. It's actually really easy um, for watering. It kind of just depends on the weather. I would say a couple times a week and you want to soak the plants really good and then let them dry out in between waterings. Okay. As for when your fruit is ripe, it kind of just depends on size, color, and touch. So they should be, they should feel tender. Oh, okay. So this this right here is a lime right here. Yeah. This is, I mean, this is sort of Yeah, tender. you can actually um, grow your own lime trees or avocado trees and add that all into your salsa. We love the avocados. That's such yeah. a great mix with the salsa right there. So you have all of this stuff at the Armstrong Garden Centers. We love it. Um, great stuff this morning. You guys are also offering free classes. Tell us about one this weekend that's coming up. Yeah, we have a lavender class. So how to grow lavender, what you can do with it. Um, um, it's at nine. It's at all of the Armstrongs. We have 31 locations. Okay. Um, you can also visit our website, armstronggarden.com, for more um, recipes and tips on growing um, your salsa garden. It's Which we put stuff. a link onto our website, so yeah. we all work together here at <laughs> fox5sandiego.com. You can just take your um, your chili pepper and, and click on the see on tab. This yeah. is great stuff because, as you said, it's summertime and you can grow all of this right yeah. now. Now is the time to pot it or plant it in the backyard. And um, I got a last question for you. When I'm watering, I just planted them lantanas. When I'm watering, I notice the water like seeps in real quick and then it's gone. Should I let it to where it's like almost flooded? How should I water that? How do I know it's completely watered? Um, I, what I would do is I would soak it really good so you see the water go down. I'd maybe water some other things and then I would go back and water it again oh, a second okay, time. Good. So that way you know soak it really good. Great advice. Thank you, Brianna. Would Thanks you like so to try much. some of my salsas that I made this morning? Did you did you really make this I from made all these. of this right yeah, here? Yeah, from these peppers. Oh, I thought this was something you went and bought, but no, no you made I this. made good it. Yeah, you. so I brought you some chips. All right. So I have a spicy, mild, and then kind of like just I'm not a pico really de gallo. Spicy guy, but that that right there tasted delicious. So we'll go for this. We'll give it a little shot. Kudos to you for making yeah. this. Yeah. Go, Brianna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, delicious. Okay. First time gardeners, you want to give somebody advice at home real quick before we let you go? 
And if you're a first time gardener, and you're know, worried about killing plants, is there something you should know before you start planting? Just come on in and we'll help you out. I mean, it's great for, you know, to do with your kids and the family and it's just, you know, really relaxing, but it's really easy. I know, uh, I know Sholly just started one with her son. Chrissy mm -hmm. started with her son. Yeah. It's a great family thing to get something together and plant some plants. They just said, why am I double dipping? I didn't double dip. I went right to the mild <laughs> one. I didn't go for the hot twice. It's okay. It's all for you. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate it. No, thank God, you. I'll toss it back to you inside. That guaranteed it was all for you, Brad. Thank you. It's still